Okay, uh, turn one on the play against something. Duskmaws, so he's probably a Dijon sort of deck. I'm just going to play turn one Herald in the side lane. This way, if he plays a Spirits on Sentry, he pretty much has to play it in the opposite lane. I mean, he could play it in front of Herald, but... <laughs> Another Shriek and Immortal Echoes. That's kind of weird. I wish I had a Pump Spell. That'd be, this would be a great time for a Pump Spell. So if I actually, if I Metamorphosis his Nether Drake here, and then play an Aranti Warlord, his Immortal Echoes will get back a uh, the Flywing Chrysalis, and he won't have a, a Nether Drake in his death pile. So I think that's the play. Because uh, I don't really... Eh, it might not actually be the play. There's, I don't actually have a reason to kill the Nether Drake. I can just play Shard Bomb Behemoth and either one of my creatures, or I could just level the Metamorphosis. Probably just level the Aranti Warlord. Not even kill his Nether Drake, because... If I don't kill one of his creatures, he can't bring anything back with Immortal Echoes. So it's kind of a waste to play Immortal Echoes when you have no creatures. Because it doesn't actually scale that well. It's a... Uh, level 1 and level 2 are almost identical. It's level 1 is uh, you can only bring back level 2 or lower creatures. And it's level 3 is you can bring back any creature. So since he doesn't have any level 3 creatures in his deck, and he won't until like level 3, uh, there's no real reason to play Immortal Echoes in rank 1. Got a Wind Weaver. Oh, I should have mentioned, in case he was playing Wind Weaver, I was going to play the uh, everything away from the Nether Drake as possible so he couldn't scoot into it. I'm going to play a Malice Hermit. I could actually Legion Shard my Herald, but it would still leave it at 2 toughness, and I think it's better to play Malice Hermit and Warlord. Because this way the, the Frost Mage Dragon almost dies from just the poison. But having this many creatures in play, uh, my mouse servant's gonna be so big that he can't even really block it with his Frostbane Dragon. It does suck that my Shark Plate Behemoth will shrink and die eventually, but he still has to deal with it. Uh, somehow, he can't just take seven, then take five, then take three. That's kind of a lot of damage. 15 damage, actually. So he chooses to make a Frostmane Egg in front of a creature that kills it. That's strange. I think his best block is to block the Malice Hermit with his Frostmane Dragon. That way it does 5 damage to it and he can kill it with, like if I was forced to play another Malice Hermit or something. There's no real reason to deal 5 damage to a Ronti Warlord. And then he plays a Zithian Direhound. Almost kills my Shardblade Mammoth. It'll attack him for one on my turn before it dies. <laughs> Mortal Echoes is also. Oh, that's good. It's a good play. What was I saying? Immortal Echoes is kind of uh, questionable against the Herald deck anyway. Because usually they just play Herald over and over again. I'm going to Metamorphosis his Surzal. Just to get in for 3 damage. It's a little better than the entire Hound to kill. So now I've got 2 level 2 Heralds in my deck. Heralds is the best against the Sorter deck because they play Immortal Echoes, Spirit Stone Sentry, and Sarazal. So having a level 2 Herald is. and a 2 level 2 Heralds is going to be really good. I need to play those like ASAP. I'm not sure why he played Spirit Stone Sentry. I could actually kill that with a level. Like if I had a level 2 Yeti in my hand, which he knows I have 2 of already, I would actually kill all his creatures here, and the uh, Herald would deal damage to him with the Spirit Stone Sentry. I actually might play the Malice Hermit anyway, because it, it does get fairly large, and it takes a long time to kill my creatures, like I expect they'll be dead anyway, though I think the play is actually to play Herald in front of the sentry, 
then play Shardbound Invoker and bump my uh, level 1 Herald. So it also has 6 power. Spiritstone Sentry is actually really, really bad against Herald decks because it you can't control where it comes back. And if it comes back in a side lane and dies again, it'll come back again and die again. Like it can keep doing this until it has enough toughness to live. And it needs 13 toughness to live against two Heralds. So if that Spiritstone Sentry dies and it comes back in a side lane like three or four times, it's going to do like 36, 48 damage to him. All completely out of his control. Uh, I think his best play is actually to play a Windweaver, move the Mether Drake into the Herald he can, so he can kill it, and then move the Spiritstone Sentry away from the side lane. He didn't do that, so he's just going to take damage. Now I can play... Uh, pretty sure I played Shardbound Invoker. No, no, play Malice Hermit first because it kills everything. Then play Shardbound Invoker, pumping the Herald in case he wants to try any Surazal shenanigans on his turn. And then all his creatures die. Malice Hermit becomes big, and my Herald still has ten toughness. I can also play Dendrify on his turn. So that Nether Drake kills my Invoker and dies. I don't, I'm not even sure why he played that card. Like, <laughs> He's going to take 7 damage, his creature isn't going to live, and he only has a 1 in 5 shot of killing something. I guess if he had that and Scythe, it still wouldn't do it because his creature would still die. It's kind of strange. So I think I'm just going to play... Windspark Elemental and Dendrify his Spiritstone Sentry. That way he takes 14 damage and dies. <laughs> 14 plus 16 plus 7 is enough damage to kill him. Yep, and that's that's the kind of deck I want to play against, the Immortal Echoes nonsense deck. Well, that was good. Finally won a game. <laughs>